gives me great privilege and honor to be among the august presence of God's servants and leaders of Andhra Pradesh. It immensely pleases me that Andhra's Pastoral Federation has taken a bold step in trying to address the grievances, address the concerns, and bring out the much needed divine blessings to the community at large. And we also need to remember at this point that as we set out on this journey, not in an individual capacity, but as a united community, as this body, we need to remember that we are the body and we also need to remember that we are his church and we are an expression of our Christ and we are in effect an extension of his body in, uh, on earth. And this is where we need to take up the leadership, uh, leadership role and also a reformer's role. And it's not as though we have a new magic fan. It's not as though we have a new option. We need to remember that ultimately our only weapon and our only way, our only means will be to uphold the word of God in its purest and earnest form so that Ultimately, what God has given in the Great Commission in Matthew, last chapter, go out and make disciples and teach. And that's what we're going to do. God, Jesus Christ has two thousand years back, is choosing the weapon of to teach the word of God. And in effect, for generations together, for effect, uh, uh, impacting millions and millions of people over generations for good. And again, this is going to be the same this thing that we're going to adopt. Lastly, yesterday evening, we were talking about how the people of second century, when they had been oppressed, when they had been humiliated, when they had been persecuted, they stood firm, they stood firm by the word of God. And because they stood firm by the word of God, it has shaped generations for, for nearly 20 centuries and I wish to state and I wish to remind us all that the stand that we are going to take by the word of God is going to shape for the next 20, 20, 20 centuries. Thank you.